<clears throat> well, you know, I think, you know, our goal from day one has always been to have a, a company that's well-rounded, that has products in every category and every type of, uh, for every type of consumer in the marketplace. Um, you know, the traditional products that we made have always been more full-bodied cigars, uh, you know, along the lines of the types of cigars that my dad used to smoke in Cuba. But, you know, nowadays, uh, there are many different types of consumers out there, some whom prefer milder cigars. Um, and we did not have any product that would meet those needs. So the idea for Damaso was a very, you know, strategically is something that I think we needed to do uh, in order to have a better, more well-rounded portfolio of products. So the idea behind Damaso is to produce a cigar that would fill the mild to medium category of cigars, but that still has the complexity, the balance, you know, the, the, those characteristics and the consistency that people expect from Pardo. Well, I mean, I, for me, it was very interesting at, in, the, in, the, in the first days of production. I mean, we, we started with two cigar rollers making the cigar. And as I was standing in the factory as those, you know, they were making, you know, I'm used to being in a factory that's got over 100 people making cigars. And now I'm in a room that has two people making cigars. And, I, and the first thought that came to my mind was, man, this is what my dad must have felt like, you know, 45 years ago when he was here in, in Atelier with four cigar rollers. So, I mean, I think it's, it's sort of like everything comes full circle, um, you know, for us, it's not a volume game. It's not about numbers. It's about quality. And uh, I think if I have, if, if down the road we have 40, 80 people making Damaso, then great. But if we have 20, that's also great. I mean, we just want to produce a product that is worthy of the Padron name in, in all aspects, in terms of the quality and the consistency and, and, and the complexity of the product, but that also that not focusing on the quantity of cigars that we produce, but on, on the quality. Well, Damaso is my, my great-grandfather. Damaso was the first padron to immigrate from the Canary Islands and settle in Pinal de Rio in Cuba and started growing tobacco. His first uh, venture into tobacco was renting a farm in Pinal de Rio, which he then later uh, bought and bought another one. So he ended up with two farms, and that's the farm that my dad was born on. And, um, you know, as I talked to my father about using his name, you know, my dad was, you know, explaining to us how important the role that Damaso played in his growing up, you know, not just from a production of and learning of tobacco, but more, more than anything, learning lessons about life and the values and the things that he, that he instilled in them that I think left a, a big impression on him and, and helped him tremendously over the years. Well, I mean, the, the cigar is, is a milder blend than what we have ever made before. So, you know, there may be Padron, that we have a lot of loyal customers, which I appreciate tremendously. But, you know, it may not be a product for all typical Padron smokers, because this product is a different product than what we've done in the past. So, you know, the idea behind Damaso is to capture a new market, a market of consumers that would not have other, they would not have smoked a Padron, because number one, they don't like a full body cigar, or they're afraid because it, it may be too strong for them or whatever, and that happens. There are consumers out there that prefer to smoke milder cigars. So we want to just we want to make sure that every retailer in the country has a Padron product in their shop for every type of customer that comes in. Man, I, I have no idea what to, how to answer that question. I, I, as a, as far as I know, we have pretty good distribution all over the country. We don't um, discriminate in terms of how we sell the product, it's basically, you order and we ship. I mean, it's as simple as that. It's not a complicated process. Now, I would suggest that if the person, whoever submitted that question should contact us if he's an existing customer and we can maybe help him out and see if, if there's been any problems in getting him product or maybe he is not an existing customer who wants to open up an account and that's, that would be another thing. So to have him call us. Exactly, we don't hate them. <laughs> no, we love everyone. Anyone who smokes the cigars, we love. <laughs> um, maybe the color that my dad's chosen for all everything is always yellow. No, 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 no. Honestly, I I don't know. I mean, I I. There's not many things to change here. I mean, you know, we're a company that's that's grown over a fifty-one year history. I mean, nothing here has happened fast. Everything has been very calculated and very deliberate. 
uh, you know, we don't do things simply for the sake of doing them. When we do something, there's a reason behind it. Um, you know, my dad has taken tremendous time and paid tremendous, made tremendous sacrifices to put us in the position that we are in today. So, I mean, it's a very solid foundation that we have. So, I mean, there really aren't too many things. I mean, I can't really think of anything that I would, if I had to do it again, I would do it different. Because really, nothing's come easy for us. Everything's come very difficult and it's taken a lot of time. I mean, we don't have salesmen out there, you know, which a lot of people do, and I'm not discounting the value of a salesman, but we've done it without salesmen. And, you know, it's worked for us. You know, maybe down the road, that could change. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, as of right now, things, you know, it's it, we're producing and, and we're growing little by little. Steady. Yeah. Slow and steady steps. And that's that's the the main goal for us.